According to the 70-20-10 learning model, 70% of learning occurs through hands-on experience. This data is significant because it shows there's still a small percentage of employees not getting the learning experience that they need. So if you're a business struggling with on-the-job training, this video will explain the benefits, challenges, and types of training that can help improve employee learning and productivity. Editor's note, click on the link in the description below to check out Technology Advice's recent list of the best human resources software to find the best solution for your business. We've connected over 2 million people to the best software for their needs. Okay, back to Justin. Without on-the-job training, employees may lack the practical skills required to perform their jobs effectively. This could result in increased errors, turnover, and low job satisfaction. Three benefits of on-the-job training include quick implementation, which works by training employees in the same work environment where they'll be performing their roles. Faster productivity, which works by employees correcting their mistakes while training, can lead to a faster onboarding process. And low cost, since it doesn't require renting outside facilities to host training sessions, hiring consultants to conduct training, or paying for employee travel. While on-the-job training offsets several benefits, it also presents certain challenges. Since training requires managers to leave their own duties behind to dedicate time to training new recruits, this could result in reduced productivity, which could lead to a slower output as your team integrates the new hire into their role. Although OTJ training is a great way to learn, it's not the only way. For some new hires, being forced to work immediately in their role without gradual integration can feel overwhelming. For example, someone who's neurodivergent may learn better in a less distracting and less stimulating environment before stepping into their role. By addressing these challenges, companies can ensure that employees have all the necessary tools and skills for success. Now that we know the benefits and challenges, let's go over some of the different types of on-the-job training. Number one, orientation. This one takes place during the employee's first one to two days and involves managers or HR departments giving a general overview of the business. Number two, internship which involves training students or recent graduates in a temporary capacity. Finally, apprenticeship, which involves teaching and paying employees to learn how to perform duties in highly technical positions. By incorporating these different types of on-the-job training, companies can create effective learning experiences and skill development. And that wraps up the benefits, challenges, and types of on-the-job training that can help your business improve employee learning and productivity. If you'd like to stay up to date on the latest in job training, Head over to technologyadvice.com for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.